I did not. For the first few years, I just took a lot of classes and had a lot of fun. And I kind of recommend that to a lot of a lot of high school students that that I know that maybe might not make your parents happy, but take your time to figure out what you want to do with your life. I had a lot of friends in high school who started out in majors right after you know right after high school, and after four years, they didn't they changed so much they didn't like what they were studying anymore. So. That's a, that's a lot of money to spend on something you don't want to do for the rest of your life. I knew that I didn't want, because it was the number one question I was asked by everyone, is, is are you going to go into acting? Um, because I was huge in theater, I was the lead in like every show, um, and I, I knew vehemently that I did not want to do that. It was, just, it was just a talent, is the way I saw it. I didn't necessarily see myself being an actor or being part of that world. I never changed my major in college. Looking back now, I kind of wish that I would have uh, because instead of changing my mind then, I actually had to go back to school to start doing what I'm doing now, uh, which cost a heck of a lot more than just changing your major. I actually went to community college first. I went to SEC. Um, for two years, mostly to save money. And actually, I saved so much money, I was able to buy a house with it, which was great. Um, but I also did that so I could explore other options. And I took lots of classes. I took an education class, I took an art class, I took um, the history classes, actually, and that's when I decided I want to be a history teacher. It was probably right there. And then I took photography class, I took, oh, another one was I took graphic arts. I thought I wanted to be, because um, I was really, really good at Photoshop and Illustrator. I still am. Um, but I thought I wanted to like go into advertising or something like that. And then I realized I, I, I for the same reason as acting, I, I find I had a talent for it, but I didn't necessarily have a passion for it. Does that make sense? So I guess I, I guess I realized I didn't really want to work for someone else doing that thing. I wanted to do it for myself, so. Don't go to college for the wrong reasons. And I would say that most people who go to college, go to college for the wrong reasons. Um, if there's a specific degree certificate that you need that you can only get through college, go. Uh, otherwise, there are a lot more ways to get, in many cases, a better education at a lower cost. Uh, if all you want is the experience, go intern with someone. Uh, the the old idea that you have to have a college diploma or a college degree to get a good job is dying very, very quickly in our changing economy. So before you just jump on to the college train because it's what your teachers expect, because it's what your parents expect, uh, because it's what you've been told you have to do, really, really look into it because for a lot of people, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Um, don't freak out, it will be fine. And even if you graduate with something you're not totally sure that's the major you want, you can always change careers. It is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You know, I, I think now especially, you know, just with the way the world's changing, the average person goes through eight different careers, I think is, like that's something I heard somewhere. I, I don't know if it's true or not. Um, I'm probably gonna stick with one job, but I'm rare at my age. Like my wife's already on her third job, you know, since college. Um, and she has an education major, and now she's a salesperson for a pharmaceutical company. I mean, you know, it's just kind of like, you can really do anything you want to do, but your degree is only going to get you that first job, and that's really all that matters. So that's why, as much as I hate to say it, it's probably good to pick the practical degrees, ones that, like, won't close doors. Like, a philosophy major isn't going to help you with anything, <laughs> other than being a really smart person at parties.